Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Call of Duty has released a couple of interesting updates. We could call them that here in Warzone 2 over the past couple of days that unfortunately are bringing pay to win into the overall conversation of the game state. And honestly, part of it definitely feels like it. There's a couple of different things I want to focus on here today. Some new updates that have been added in that are definitely, you know, bordering that pay to win discussion. So Charlie Intel ended up posting about this, and this stems from a user on Reddit known as JamCal. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And it's referencing the new tactical pet Merlin, which you get with the Black Cell Battle Pass upgrade. This is essentially a dog that sits on your back and functions almost as your own mini high alert if you have high alert but that doesn't always seem to be the case so i'm going to play this video for you guys we're going to watch this and we can just see what exactly is going on in game and then talk about it a little bit more because it is very interesting and it's tough to say is this definitively pay to win or is it just another gimmicky feature that they've added in to promote more sales with black cell and bundles right so just open to my right this user jam cal is sitting in this corner he's got his riot shield Bros. This guy's running for track, apparently. Is that, that and a dog starts again. to growl on his back. Is the same guy just running, just doing his dog continues to growl. And then the player sees him. Now, the thing is, we don't know if that player had high alert or not. If they did, they're running through there. And while uh, Jam Cal here is looking at this player, they're going to get that high alert ping on the left side of their screen because they're running there or the right side when they run back through. And that's when that dog is supposed to alert you and do that growl audio and say, hey, someone's looking at you. But clearly, Jam Cal is just chilling in this corner. Like we said, we don't know if that enemy has high alert. We're not sure if Jam Cal has cold blooded on because that counters high alert. But it's important he to note that, that was now like barking at him when he ran past me, bro. What the? He, he was using the dog. Exactly what Jam Cal says there. That player was able to find out where he was sitting because that dog was growling. Now, would the same have uh, happened with High Alert? Probably, but it is something to take note of. And Call of Duty did actually post a tweet yesterday saying, your dangerous and cuddly Black Cell dog companion is here. Equip the High Alert perk and keep your ears open for tactical growls as your enemies near. So they are confirming, as Charlie Intel says here, that if you have High Alert on as a perk, then Merlin here, the dog, is going to growl when you get that high alert notification. However, if you have Black Cell and you've been playing with this dog equipped, you'll know that's not always the case. In fact, last night as I was playing some ranked with Lazy and Espresso, I had numerous instances where someone would look at me and I would get this dog audio before I got high alert. Sometimes I got that dog audio when, when I didn't get a high alert ping at all. Maybe it's because I turned away from that enemy too quick and ducked behind cover or they looked away to, you know, re, uh, you know, position there. But there were several instances I noted where my dog was growling and it was not lining up one to one with high alerts. So this is an interesting situation initially here. The first part of the pay to win uh, issues going on right now. Is this truly pay to win? I can't definitively say yes or no for this one because one it does require a perk basically it is boosting high alert now if they were to also add in other companions that did things with other perks then you're just creating a weird scenario where you're clearly just trying to sell more bundles in a way to boost gameplay experiences uh to you know enhance your perks in a way my thing is here though is that like i said it's been going off right before i get that high alert ping like a split second but still that's enough info at the time for me to say okay i gotta move right now i gotta duck behind this i gotta dive here before that high alert ping initially spikes or sometimes without it at all However, there is a disadvantage at times to using Merlin as well. There's times where if you're in close proximity to an enemy, they look at you and the dog starts growling, that enemy will hear that as well. So maybe you're, you know, hiding in a dark corner and they don't see you and they hear your dog growl because they accidentally looked at you but didn't spot you. They now know, okay, wait, there's a guy that I just looked at apparently. So it could advantage you, it could disadvantage you at certain times. This one is borderline pay to win, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below on this. This next part though, I gotta say, absolutely pay to win. So earlier in the week in the store, this bundle dropped. This is the Dark Rituals 3 bundle, and it comes with a handful of things a new operator skin, DMZ stuff that's already been borderline pay to win as well, and some weapon blueprints. And as we know with the weapon blueprints in this game, 
you get various different skins for attachments like for instance you'll have like a muzzle skin that looks just like this blueprint that you can use and you could throw this on any gun in the game same deal with the rear grips and in this case the optic that's here this comes with the thermal target identification it's the sz hollow therm scope one that's been very popular in warzone up until this point it was so popular that it actually got banned from ranks but you can still use it everywhere else in multiplayer in standard pubs whatever and it comes with a special skin for this hollow uh site this hollow therm site and it completely changes how it looks and works in game so as we're diving into this footage here quick reminder if you guys are new here you want to guarantee you're always up to date with all things going on in cod be sure to hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications it would be really appreciated we are of course on the road to a million subs and if you guys enjoyed this video if you find this helpful though getting this information out there so hopefully it can be fixed or adjusted so that it's not pay to win since obviously that's pretty unfair let me know by dropping a like on it it does really help the channel grow but we're gonna dive into some gameplay here that i recorded in private match and this is actually gonna end up showing the standard hollow therm which i have on my cronin here comparing it to the new dark rituals hollow therm here so as soon as is lazy who i'm in this private match with walks into mid you'll be able to see what exactly this looks like as you look at an enemy basically right so with lazy the standard this is keep in mind without cold-blooded we'll show what cold-blooded looks like in just a minute but this is no cold-blooded this is what you'll see if a player is running basic perks and perk 2 with the standard hollow therm you can see they highlight decently like the head clearly orange their body stands out a little bit you obviously have the red dot ping above them as well but i mean it's a decent hollow therm it is what it is right it's nothing too crazy you can see what's highlighted and it stands the player apart from this distance a little bit then you look at the pay to win hollow therm that comes with dark rituals and it highlights the player in bright red now this is obviously and it makes the background almost to me a little bit look more gray if we go back to the standard hollow therm here and we look at this when lazy comes around the corner here to me at least the background of the player still blends a little bit Lazy's taking his time getting to mid. I rewound too far. But anyways, you can see when I ADS, like it's more of a gray orange hue to the player here. And the background to me is not nearly as gray. But if we go ahead and we skip forward and we go to the hollow therm, you can see to me, it's a lot more gray, more orangey gray, basically straight gray. And then the player, obviously bright red. So they stand out way more in general when using this specific hollow therm attachment and skin from the dark rituals bundle clearly giving you a significant advantage when using this scope in game if an enemy is not using cold-blooded and that's the big factor here they have to not have cold-blooded for them to look exactly like they do now versus with the standard hollow therm but i thought what would this look like if there was cold-blooded and that's where we're at now in the gameplay lazy's been alive long enough that he's got his cold-blooded perk activated and he's on a new class and with the standard hollow therm you can see clearly this player is not being highlighted as much in that orange layout now you can still see like the definition of the skin you can still see he's got a cat head on from that operator bundle right but they're not being highlighted in that orange as much they're definitely blending more into the background in general right clearly you can tell cold-blooded is active not the same case with the hollow therm on here right even with cold blooded on the ritual skin their head lazy's head in this instance is still highlighting bright red cold blooded is on they should not be highlighted at all in a thermal scope here yet clearly this scope is changing it up from how the standard one has been working and even his feet there his extremities are highlighted red as well now it might change from skin to skin there depending on you know what the skin looks like but they're still going to be highlighted to a certain extent which to me is absolutely crazy this is an optic that 100 definitively in my opinion gives you that in-game advantage now it is just one optic and it does matter what the situation is they're obviously easier to see when they don't have cold-blooded on but even with cold-blooded you go from a standard hollow therm visible but not crazy and then into the pay to win hollow therm and there's a clear clear difference in visibility and enemies being marked so this one in my opinion could definitely be said is pay to win which is unfortunate because pay to win doesn't belong in battle royale definitely does not belong in warzone hopefully this stuff gets updated here soon that being said that's gonna wrap things up for this one if you guys enjoyed the video do me a favor drop a like on it would be really appreciated and if you're new here you want to guarantee you're always up to date with all things going on in cod be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you guys later peace out